Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting video where we'll be comparing two popular productivity tools, Slack and Subtask. If you're looking to boost collaboration and streamline task management in your team, you've come to the right place. Let's dive in deep and explore the differences between Slack and Subtask. So Slack and Subtask are both powerful tools that aim to improve team productivity and communication. While they serve similar purposes, they have distinct features and functionalities. Let's take a closer look at each of them. Slack is a widely used communication platform that brings teams together in one place. It offers real-time messaging, file sharing, and integration with various apps. With Slack, you can create channels for different projects or teams making it easy to organize conversations and collaborate effectively. Subtask, on the other hand, is a task management tool designed to help teams stay organized and focused on their goals. However, Subtask doesn't have its own platform. It just integrates with your Slack platform and make it much more seamless and helps you do projects, tasks with your teams much easily. Subtask allows you to break down complex projects into smaller, manageable subtasks, including better task detention and progress tracking. Now let's explore the features and functionality of each tool to get a better understanding of their strengths and weaknesses. Slack offers a wide range of features for seamless collaboration. It allows for instant messaging, voice and video calls, and file sharing. You can create different channels for specific topics or projects, making it easy to find and join relevant discussions. Slack also integrates with popular tools like Google Drive, Trello, and Asana, enabling you to bring your favorite apps into one centralized platform. However, Subtask is also another app that you can bring to your Slack for more integrations. The ability to break tasks into subtasks allows for better project planning and tracking. Subtask allows. Subtask also offers progress tracking features, giving you a visual overview of how tasks are progressing. When it comes to collaboration and communication, both Slack and Subtask have their unique approaches. Slack is well known for its real-time communication capabilities. It allows for instant messaging, enabling teams to have quick discussions and make decisions on the fly. With channels and direct messaging, you can collaborate with team members, share files, and keep the conversations flowing. Slack's integrations with project management tools makes it a centralized hub for team communication. Subtask focuses more on task-centered collaboration. While it doesn't have real-time messaging, it only uses Slack to do all the messaging. Subtask, however, keeps the conversations related to tasks within the task itself. This allows for focused discussions and eliminates the clutter that can sometimes occur in chat-based platforms. By keeping conversations tied to specific tasks, Subtask ensures that discussions are relevant and accessible when needed. In conclusion, both Slack and Subtask have their strengths and can greatly benefit teams in different ways. If you prioritize real-time communication and a centralized hub for collaboration, Slack might be the right choice for you. On the other hand, if you need more integration and task management tool in your Slack that will help you organize and focus, Subtask could be a better fit. Ultimately, the discussion between Slack and Subtask is not something to discuss. If you want more manageability, then you should integrate Subtask in your Slack. But in both ways, you will have to use Slack because for using Subtask, you will need Slack in order to sign in to Subtask. So Subtask is nothing without Slack and you will have to use Slack to use Subtask. So guys, that wraps up our comparison between Slack and Subtask. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights to make an informed decision. So thank you for watching and until next time, happy collaborating.